안녕하세요 토크살롱 시청자 여러분 오늘은 2024 월드 스마트 시티 엑스포에서 개최된 UAEM 국제 버티포츠 포럼에 연사로 참석하신 에릭 에리슨 CPO를 이 자리에 모셨는데요 대표적인 미래형 모빌리티인 UAEM의 대표 제작사인 조비항공이 바라보는 UAEM의 가능성과 현실성 그리고 비즈니스 계획에 대한 이야기를 한번 들어보도록 하겠습니다 Hello, Eric. Nice to see you. Great to see you as well. Yeah, I know that this is not your first time to Korea, not only for your speeches, but also the business purposes. You visited several times in Korea before. So, um, but we need to go first. That Could you just introduce your job and yourself? Sure. And this is actually my seventh or eighth time visiting Korea. My name is Eric Allison. I'm Chief Product Officer for Joby Aviation. Uh, Joby Aviation is a company that's creating a, a novel vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that's all electric, and it can actually fly on all electricity. Um, zero emissions, and it's designed to allow uh, freedom of mobility in a new way. To really realize the idea of urban air mobility, or UAM, that many people have talked about. Joby's not just developing an aircraft, though. It's developing the service to operate the aircraft. And it's also developing the foundational technologies that really pave the way for a zero emissions future across other forms of aviation, not just UAM. My background is that I actually studied aerospace engineering at Stanford University. got my PhD there um, about uh, 20 years ago or so. And I actually helped to found one of the, the early companies uh, in the UAM space. Um, ended up working at Uber for a few years. I'm developing the idea of aerial ride sharing, or really the application of what does it look like for UAM to be uh, practical and actually possible in an area? Uh, and what does it look like when you can make air taxis and integrate them into the technology that we use in our daily lives right now? So you could pull out a smartphone, you can choose a ride from wherever you are to wherever you want to go, and the technology seamlessly integrates the ground with the air so that you can get a trip uh, to, you know, from your home to your work, from your home to the airport, from your home to uh, wherever you want to go without having to have a, a, a vertiport right next door to where you are. Thank you for your wonderful explanation about Joby. I have uh, the more interest in the UAM. How do you think about uh, UAM will change our lives? It uh, feels like um, it's some kind of science fiction. It's real. It's real comes true. So tell me about that. One of the things that we think is just so incredibly exciting about developing an entirely new form of mobility is that we get to imagine what the future looks like. We have nearly 2,000 people at Joby um, hard at work at building and certifying with the, the relevant authorities, like the FAA in the United States, um, this aircraft to actually bring it to commercial viability as soon as possible. And so we, we actually have uh, an agreement with the Dubai government, for example, to be the exclusive provider of air taxis as early as the end of next year. So this is not a far distant future thing. This is something that we believe can start to have a positive impact on people's lives um, very soon. And what we think that fundamentally this is about is giving people more choice in how they move around. That if you want to, to take a trip that actually includes um, flying through the air at up to 320 kilometers an hour, um, so that you can get to where you want to go faster, we want to give people that choice. And we think that being able to, to fly emissions-free fast and jump over traffic is going to add a new dimension to how people move. And it's incredibly exciting. Thank you. Um, I'm very excited to hear that. However, we still have um, some way to go. Um, frankly, back in the 2018, um, I had a meeting, um, well, Expo at this time, and invited some of the, the UAM companies. We just rent some of the devices mm -hmm. from the German companies and some of the Chinese companies. They are the actual devices, the actual flights. But uh, because of some of the policies, we cannot let them uh, fly on. So. If the UAM needs uh, some kind of technical or the policy improvements to become a reality, as you mentioned, what should be prioritized? So it's really important to, to think of this as an evolution of the aviation systems um, that exist today. I like to say in the U.S., 
um, where we are doing our certification work that we don't need any special extra new rules to be put into place uh, to be able to start operating. We can operate within more or less the constructs of the existing aviation rules. But importantly, we must get to that point of having a certified uh, vehicle. So type certification is the biggest hurdle when it comes to uh, bringing a new type of aircraft uh, into a commercially viable type of operation. But then importantly, you have to have the right operating rules of, that exist uh, to be able to then take that type certified vehicle and put it into operation. And that's the place where things vary. The policy varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Uh, in the U.S., <clears throat> the FAA is uh, pledged to publish a final rule um, allowing the operation of these types of vehicles um, by the end of this year. And so we're working with other regulators like COCA uh, here in Korea, JCAB in Japan, um, as well as the UK CAA, the UAE um, GCAA, uh, and others to, um, to put in place the right type of rules um, that are adaptations of existing rules for typical uh, aircraft, uh, that, but that are tailored and, and made applicable to these types of UAM, all-electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. So um, as you mentioned, you have a lot of the plans and you have um, many experiences in the working with uh, Koreans before. And I heard the, some of the good news before regarding the Korean business in Asia. So the, can you tell me a little bit more about Jobia's business in Asia? Sure. So we have some fantastic partners um, in Asia. So uh, here in Korea, we partnered with SK Telecom uh, several years ago. And actually, SK Telecom invested in Joby last summer, so in the summer of 2023. So it's incredibly exciting to have them as one of our investors now um, and as our key partner here in Korea. We are, we are actually planning to participate in the KUAM Grand Challenge um, by the end of this year. We'll have one of our prototype aircraft here in Korea flying as part of the KUAM Grand Challenge. We also um, have uh, incredible partners in Japan. Uh, Toyota is our largest outside investor. And, uh, and so we also have a partnership with ANA there um, to bring a service to Japan um, as well. And as part of that, uh, we are going to be flying next year in Japan at the Osaka Expo, which is going to be very exciting. And uh, we'll get to, sh to show off what we're doing um, in, in that part of Asia as well. Wow, what a wonderful story is it in. Um, I'm planning to do visit the Osaka Expo and uh, I hope to have a chance to take the Jovis there. 네, 오늘은 이렇게 조비 항공의 에릭 에리슨 CPO를 모시고 UAM에 대한 이야기를 한번 들어봤습니다. UAM이 만들어가는 이동의 자율성과 효율성 이야기만 들어도 굉장히 기대가 큰데요. 우리 정부도 2030년 UAM 상용화를 목표로 다양한 정책과 지원을 진행하고 있습니다. 정책과 기술이 만들어내는 새로운 미래에 대해서 저희도 계속 기대하고 응원하도록 하겠습니다. 자 그럼 오늘 인터뷰는 여기서 마칠게요. 감사합니다. Thank you, Eric. Thank you.